our today's session. Today, I would want us to look at uh, this next diplomas. So I'll be looking at a quantitative techniques paper question that was tested in uh, November 2022, QT question. But this quantitative techniques question is applicable to all those students who are doing NEC diplomas, that is diploma in supply chain management, diploma in business management, diploma in information science, we have diploma in entrepreneurship, and diploma in human resource management. NEC diplomas. So in this quantitative techniques question is here, they are given as uh, the average revenue, which is 3,000 minus 0 0.05 Q. Then we have total cost, 5,000 plus 6 Q minus uh, Q squared. And then they wanted us to do something very easy. They wanted us, number one, to ascertain the total revenue function. So how do we get total revenue? To get total revenue, solution here, to get total revenue, total revenue abbreviated as TR, we normally take the price, the price per unit times quantity. Price per unit times quantity. Remember price per unit is also known as average revenue. And therefore, our total revenue will be average revenue times what year times quantity. Average revenue is the same as what year as price. So here they have given us average revenue. In that case, our total revenue then will be equal to 3,000 minus 0 0.05 Q. And then of course, these two are supposed to be one thing. It's only that they are unlike terms. So you're supposed to come and block them, put them in brackets like that, times quantity, which of course in this case just stands still to be Q. So then go ahead and do what here? Go ahead and open brackets. So when you open brackets, what do we have here as total revenue? So then these will be 3,000 Q minus 0 0.05 what here Q squared, because this Q will be spread to each of these terms. Q will be spread to each of those terms. So then we have been able to do number one, where they wanted us to give them the total revenue. So having gotten total revenue, number two, they want us in this case here to give them the profit. Profit is abbreviated like that. How do we get profit? To get profit, we normally take total revenue minus total cost. So my profit here will be equal to total revenue that I happen to be having here, which is 3,000 Q minus 0 0.05 Q squared, 0 0.05 Q squared minus the cost. And the cost has been provided here. The cost has been provided here, but remember this cost, you must be bright. This cost happens to be having how many terms? Three terms, this, this, and this. So you need to capture all of them in a bracket. So minus 5,000, minus 5,000, plus 6Q, plus 6Q, minus Q squared like that, minus Q squared. So then I need to come and open brackets. So if I open my brackets here, my profit here will be 3,000 Q minus 0 0.05 Q squared minus, now when I'm opening brackets here, remember these three items, I'm supposed to be subtracting them from the revenue. So when I'm opening brackets, then what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to change the sign of each of these terms, the sign of each of these terms, right? Because there is a negative outside the bracket. So then this will be minus 5,000, all right? Minus 6Q, because now we are changing, plus what here, plus Q squared, yes. So go ahead and put like terms together. When you put like terms together, what do we have? We have 3,000 Q minus 6Q. 3,000 Q minus 6. That will give me what figure? 2994 Q. And then, of course, we have this plus this minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 plus one plus one. That will be plus something. Plus 0 0.95 Q squared. Of course, minus 5,000 like that. Because this 5,000 does not have a like term. The 5,000 does not have a like term. Now, from there, the next thing that they want me to do for them is to come here and help them maximize profit. They would want me to maximize 
profit to give them a profit maximizing output. Then how will I be able to get a profit maximizing output here? To be able to get a profit maximizing output, then I will need to differentiate this. I need to apply what we call first order condition. And ladies and gentlemen, I would want to take this opportunity just to invite all students who are doing the NEC diplomas with us. So you need to come and train with us. When you train with us, what do you do? Like now module one, we shall be able to cover module one in six months, module one. And for the entire module one, we are only charging you 8,000 Kenya shillings. 8,000 Kenya shillings. It doesn't matter whether you're doing supply management, it is it. When you join us, ladies and gentlemen, then we shall be able to teach you from the first principles, like how do you differentiate? Like, for example, if you are given here y equals, y equals 10x raised to power 5, then how do you go ahead to differentiate, get dy over dx? Remember, the rule is very easy. How do we get dy over dx? In this case, you will drop the power down. But you drop this power down, so you shall be able to get here 50x raised to a reduced power. The reduced power will be n minus 1, n minus 1. So 5 minus 1, that gives us what there somebody gives us 4 like that. Remember the rule of differentiation. If you're given y equals ax raised to power n, then our dy over dx will be equal to the n comes down, which will give us n a x n minus 1. The power must always be reduced by what here? By 1. So as a gentleman, when you are given in this case here a number, when you are given, for example, a function, when you're given, for example, a function here, when they give you a function of this nature, when they give you a function of this nature, y equals 50x raised to power 2. Then you are told to differentiate to get dy over dx. So to get dy over dx, what do we do? We drop the power down. So when you drop the power down, that gives us 100x raised to a reduced power. And how do we get this reduced power? It is 2 minus 1. So that will be 100 watt here, x raised to power 1. Of course, x raised to power 1, 1 is supposed to be silent. So that, that marks the end of this. So if you're interested in doing, ladies and gentlemen, a diploma, a diploma, a neck diploma with us, where module 1, module 1, you are charging you just 8,000 Kenya shillings, and all our classes are virtual. We don't have physical classes. All our classes are virtual. We don't have physical classes. Virtual through Zoom, virtual through Zoom, and of course, video tutorials. Then please reach out to us. Our, our, our phone number, our phone number is 0719 525,000. Our phone number is 0719 525,000. So it's our number, and I'm looking forward to you joining uh, RCM online college uh, classes, virtual classes, which you happen to attend from wherever you are. You simply log in from wherever you are. You get to watch our videos from wherever you are. You only pay us 8,000 Kenya shillings for module one and you are sorted out big time. Thank you very much. We look forward to having you in our classes. Thank you and bye.